So first, let me thank, uh, again, um, Michael for his collaboration uh, and uh, the organizers and sponsors, uh, Christy, uh, Jenny, uh, you guys have done a fabulous job. I want to thank Miriam Actenberg uh, and Matt uh, and the others in the OFR who really, you know, helped out to make this a success and thank all of you uh, for coming. Um, and Matt, thank you for that, uh, uh, for those kind remarks. I really appreciate it. Um, over the last two days, we've heard from an outstanding group of speakers and panelists, private, public, uh, public sector innovators, distinguished policymakers and regulators, academic experts and leaders from various disciplines. For example, uh, or I should say from my perspective, this conference has been a huge success because I leave not with uh, a list of answers, but with a long list of questions, thought-provoking questions. For example, we've noted that the benefits of financial technology for consumers and businesses seem to be considerable. They're a win-win. We explored how they might reshape the financial system, the business models of banks, non-banks, the structure and functioning of financial markets, including the, the plumbing of the financial system. But we've just scratched the surface and there remain many unanswered questions. Uh, for example, is there uh, a fintech trilemma? In the interest of time, and in the interest of all of us catching our planes, I thought I'd highlight just a few more. First, do innovations in finance and financial technology uh, create financial st system vulnerabilities today? We started to answer that question, but we're not, we're not finished. How do we assess and monitor threats that they might pose tomorrow? And how do we make the system more resilient so that it can function even in bad states of the world? Second, in the current is the current regulatory environment fit for purpose? If not, what changes should be considered? And might we not have to revisit the age-old question in this context of whether to permit the combination of banking and commerce. Third, do practitioners and policymakers, both here and abroad, have the skills, including tech savvy, needed to identify and address the tough questions? And last, but perhaps more aptly first, what information is available now and where are the gaps in data? How should we make them available to answer these and other questions while securing and protecting them um, and their sources? At the OFR, we believe it's our job to shine a light in the dark corners of the financial system, to see where risks are going, to assess the threat that those risks might pose and provide policymakers with the information and analysis they need to mitigate risks. We also believe that threats to financial stability don't respect jurisdictional lines, regulatory silos, national borders, or traditional fields of practice or study. Threats migrate from one regulated space to another and from regulated spaces, certainly to unregulated ones. We live in a world where no single regulator, profession, or discipline can effectively predict, diagnose, or respond to threats in isolation. Collaboration, information sharing, and collective responsibility are our best antidotes to instability. We remain isolated at our peril. Which is just to say that we need each other to continue conversations like this one and to turn those conversations into action so that our commitment to the interdisciplinary approach that we've embraced in the past three years at these conferences is not just a slogan, but a recognition that none of us can do it alone. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dick, and um, let me uh, say again, as I did at the outset, what a delight and pleasure it's been to work with um, Dick and his team at the Office of Financial Research on these annual conferences uh, and to watch um, with admiration um, as Dick and Matt, Mark, Miriam, and the others at OFR have built uh, an agency um, uh, from scratch that is contributing uh, mightily to our understanding of the risks in the financial system. Um, I also want to thank um, uh, Christy Baer um, on my team, um, among the many uh, people who have worked on this <laughs> event. <laughs> um, uh, Christy works unbelievably hard, and um, as you would imagine, and not just for this event. So while we're doing this event, she's also secretly, for example, you know, helping small businesses and just. Detroit and applying for grants for projects on small business lending and uh, uh, running around doing eight million other things and somehow keeping 
not just me, but all the um, students and uh, other colleagues who she works with happy, um, which is very, very difficult, so I'm, I'm grateful. Um, the, um, the final thing I want to say is that uh, next fall is the 10-year anniversary of um, the collapse of Lehman Brothers, which you could think of as a useful marking point in thinking about the financial crisis. Uh, and um, I'm hopeful um, that these conferences and our other work together are an important part of um, not forgetting the causes and consequences of the financial crisis um, and thinking, uh, and as um, Oliver pointed out to us, planning for the next one. Um, and uh, I hope that um, we'll be able to continue this wonderful partnership with the Office of Financial Research in the years ahead, and Matt and I have already been doing a little brainstorming about that. So uh, thank you all for being here. Thanks to all our moderators and speakers, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.